Um, or, no, because I wanted to go to heaven. Right. You know what Don's talking about? I want, sure. I mean, I'm talking to Jesus. He's telling me about heaven. And I was like, you know, that's a no brainer. You want to yes. go there. And, uh, and he persuaded me that that wasn't going to happen and I needed to come back and do a little love. Oh, um, and get right. Yeah, I get right. Oh, wow. And did you find yourself instantly back in your yes. body or did you, okay, and Don, were you just bam, just yeah. bam, yeah, the, the, back the, in your body? The preacher, that, Don. the preacher was in the car uh, from behind um, the Dick Honor Wrecker and he reached around the, the driver's seat of the car after God told him, pray for the man in, in the red car, which would have been me. He just did what God told him to do because he never prayed for a dead man or thought about it. But he knew God was telling him to do it. So he crawled in the car, he puts his hand on my shoulder, and he has been praying now for an hour and a half because he came upon the accident immediately. And he's been singing hymns, prayers, hymns, prayers, hymns. He's singing What a Friend We Have in Jesus at 1.15 in the afternoon mm -hmm. from the 1145 accident. And as he's holding on to my shoulder and singing, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, suddenly I start singing it with him. Yeah. <laughs> and he got out of the car real fast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. You would have gotten out yeah. fast. Of course you would. <laughs> and he, he, he essentially ran over to the policeman and said something like this. The dead man is singing. Yeah. And... Uh, they, uh, he convinced them to come and check on me. They were very reluctant to do so because they'd already done everything they could for me. They found out I was alive, and then they had to figure out how to get me out of that wrecked car. Now, did you have a choice, or did you just start hearing something and something no choice. made you? Um, okay. No, I, I, I don't sense that had I got any further than I did, I could have come back. Uh, people often ask me, did you see Jesus? And I, I did at the pinnacle of that hill, but I didn't get very close. And honestly, I'm glad I didn't get any closer than I did because if I had, I'd seen him and had that taken away from me, I don't think I could have been functional here at all. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I'm glad I have yet to do that. Yeah. But I didn't get a choice. I, I, I came back, and as we said earlier, I asked when I did why. Why, why, did you send, why did you let me see that and take it away from me? Mm. And I think the reason is so I, I could say with absolute certainty to anyone who wants to know that heaven is the most real place of all. Wow. And that you can go there. Reverend uh, Storm, you know, back when you were kind of a tough guy and, and an intellectual and you were your own God, you would have just... You would have loved to, I think the only thing you wanted back then was the final word. And uh, <laughs> I give that to you tonight in the last minute of our time together. Uh, somebody's watched this. Okay. The heaven, the hell. They're still me, not convinced. You have one minute okay. to, to, to debrief. I, wanna, I, I think John will um, go along with this. That Don and I know we're going to heaven. And there is nothing in the world, no power that can stop that from happening. Not because Don and I are good people. We're not good people. Matter of fact, Don and I are here to tell you that we are sinners. Hmm. And that all people, and us especially, deserve to go to hell. But we have put our hope, our faith, and trust in a man who was sent by God 2,000 years ago who said, I will come and take you to where I am. I have prepared a place for you. Wow. He said that, and it's written down in a book, the book of John. He will come because he loves us, and he knows our faults, and he knows we're not worthy, and he knows you're not worthy, and he will take you there. And he has paid the price of all the rotten stuff we've done, wow. all the bad things he's done. He's, it's covered because he's a just God. And he wants us to be with him because he loves us. We are his children. He made you. He made your mind. He made your hair. He made your face. He made your life. And he just wants you to trust him, and he will take care of you for all of eternity. Amen. Ask him mm -hmm. to come into your heart. You don't have to experience anything big, but it will grow. And you will know that nothing can keep you from heaven and from the arms of Jesus Christ. Amen. Don Piper, Amen. Reverend Howard Storm, thank you for being here. Amazing. Heaven and Hell Night continues. And Christian, what a perfect song. How lovely your dwelling place. Take it away, Christian. We'll see you right back here.